Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called It Goes Like This by Thomas Red. And it starts out with kind of a cool little background, kind of distorted, kind of guitar part. And we're going to end up capoing this on 4th fret. But if you want to play that lick, you can kind of play open E. And if you wanted to, you could kind of sustain that note. You can even do just a lot of down-ups on it until, until we kind of come in on our intro. And then there's some really cool lead guitar parts through that, too, where you can play 3rd fret on the B string and kind of do a slot to 5th to fret. And then we're going to kind of slide it right back to third fret. So we got five, three, or th five, three, five, three is kind of a slide, and then we go to open B, and you can even do that as kind of a pull off. So we got three, slide to five, slide to three, open, and I'm kind of playing three and leaving enough pressure to kind of keep and get the sound to keep on going. And then the pull off, I'm just kind of left it, letting my finger just kind of fall off the string. And then from there, we're going to kind of go back to that slide idea, but now on the G string, second fret, and kind of slide to fourth fret, and then back to second fret on the G string, and then we do an open G. So you can even do that as kind of a slide, slide, open, pull off. And then we go back to that three, five, three, pull off to open. And then at the very end, we play second on the G, and then do it a slide to four, and then just go to open G as kind of a pull off. So we got two, two, four, slide to four or two four slide open G but but the, in the background you kind of hear the guitar coming in on, on those last lead legs and on that part we're going to kind of back that up with, with an E minor chord and we play E minor first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret second finger on the D string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds like E minor chord and it sounds really really sad and then from the E minor on our intro we're going to go into a C major chord and we play C major First finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. So in the background, you kind of hear that E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, C. E minor, C. A lot of times with a song like this, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And actually, we'll talk about another one later on. But if we just took the E minor and just kind of tried that a lot, we'd have E minor with a down, down, up. patterns kind of getting half of those first two chords. One way to do that would be doing kind of a down, down up on the E minor, down, down up on the C. That E minor down, down up C down, down E minor down, down up C down, down E minor down, down C down, down up. What can sound a little bit more like the recording is to do kind of a down, down on the E minor and hit the C on the up, up, down. We kind of try and half that way. So you have E minor with the down, down C on the up, up, down. until we get to our chorus part. And in our chorus, we kind of start out with the E minor and the C, but then we're going to go to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major chord, we're going to be going to a D major chord. When we play D major, First finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And on our chorus, we're basically repeating those four chords. We're going E minor, C, G, D, E minor, C, G, just like our intro and our verse, actually, it's kind of halving that strum pattern. So one way to do that is to do the E minor with kind of the down, down, and the C with a down, down, up, G with a down, down, up, and the D with a down, down. So E minor down, down, C down, down, G down, down, D down, down, E minor down, down, C down, down, G down, down, D down, down, up. Now it can sound more like the recording though is to kind of do that down, down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord. So you're going to have E minor with down, down C on the up, up, down G on the down, down D on the up, up, down E minor on the down, down C on the up, up, down G on the down, down D on the up, up, down E minor down, down C on the up, up, down G on the down, down D on the up, up, down E minor on the down, down C on the up, up, down G on the down, down D on the up, up, down up. Now the weird part.
part is though, Thomas, instead of starting on an E minor chord, is actually starting on a G sharp minor chord. So if you want to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on fourth fret, now your E minor is really a G sharp minor, your C major is really an E major chord, your G major is really a B major chord, and your D major is really an F sharp major chord. But just to take it from the very, very beginning that way, you kind of have that E note where you can kind of even just do down ups on that kind of a sustain thing. And you may want to come in all, all, on the intro, kind of working. You have E minor on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, E minor on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, E minor on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, E minor on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, up. Or if you're kind of playing lead behind that, you could go to that third fret on the, on the B string, which is really now seventh fret, and we can kind of see that slide through to five, slide to three, and then open B, and then go to the G string for that two, four, two, open G. Three, five, three, open, two, two, four, oh, and kind of add that lick in. And then we'd be going into our verse part. So if we did that with our down, down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord, we'd have E minor with the down, down, C on the up, up, down, E minor on the down, down, C on the up. And if we did that with just the down, down up on each one, we'd have the E minor with the down, down, C down, down, G down, down, D down, down, E minor down, down, C down, down, G down, down, D down, down, E minor down, down, C down, down, G down, down, D down, down, E minor down, down, C down, down, G down, down, D down, down, up. Or if you're kind of digging on the down, down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord. Then we have E minor on the down, down, C on the up. turn to our intro, but what I would think about adding to the tune too is something called bass notes, and a lot of times on the very first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So for instance, on the E minor, you'd have the low E string for your bass to kind of simulate playing with the bass player. So E minor with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, and on the C chord, you'd have the A string for your bass. C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, on the G chord, you'd have the low E string for your bass. through the first is you can do a bass down up on each chord. So we try it that way, we'd have E minor with the low E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with low E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with low E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with low E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with low E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with low E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with low E bass, down C with an A bass, down That's the chorus. <laughs> So one way to use that, that bass is to kind of take the intro and kind of do just that da bass down up on each chord. So we have E minor with a bass, down C with an A bass, down E minor with a bass, down C with an A bass, down E minor with a bass, down C with an A bass, down E minor with a bass, down C with an A bass, down. Or if you're digging on kind of that, that down down on the first chord, up up down up on the next chord, you really could just throw in your bass note on your E minor and then do your down up into the C chord. And our chorus, actually, we could do that, but that same bass down up on the on each one. So we try it that way. We'd have E minor with low E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with low E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with low E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with low E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with low E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with low E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with low E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with low E bass, down D with the D bass, down up. Or we could kind of do the bass down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord. And then we have E minor with low E bass, down C on the up, up, down G with low E bass, down D on the up, up, down E minor with low E bass, down C on the up, up, down G with low E bass, down D on the up, up, down E minor with low E bass, down C on the up, up, down G with low E bass, down D on the up, up, down E minor with low E bass, down C on the up, up, down G with low E bass, down D on the up, up, down. So you want to play around with that too. 
And then we get to a solo part actually that's exactly like our chorus, but there's some really cool licks that kind of get thrown in where we can play open B, first fret on the B, third fret on the B, first fret on the B, and then open B, and then we go high on the third, and then second fret on the high E string. And then we kind of go back to that, that open on the B for open, and then first, and then third fret on the B, first fret on the B, and then open B, and then we go to what would have been fifth fret, but it's really in ninth fret. And we do a bend on the high E string, and then go to third fret on the high E string, that's what we're thinking of as third frets for the seventh fret. And then we go to back to the ninth fret on the high E string. So on that part we got O, one, three, one, O, three, two. On that part we got O, one, three, one, O, three, two. One, three, one, oh, five, bend, three, five. And then from there we'd be going into our bridge part. And on our bridge part actually we get to use our whole strum pattern actually on our chords. So we tried that with just the down, down, up, up, down, up. We have C with the down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, big B. And then there's this really cool little lick that comes in there where you play open B, third foot on the B, second on the G string, and then we go fourth fret on the G string, it's kind of a bend, and then kind of let it come back down. So we got O, oh, three, two, bend, four, it's kind of an exposed thing there. But then if we tried that bridge with our bass down, up, up, down, up, we'd have C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, big D. And then from there, we'd be going back into kind of our, our, our chorus part, actually, for, for our outro. And if we tried that with, with kind of our, our down, our bass down up on each one, we'd have E minor with the E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with the E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with the E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with the E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with the E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with the E bass, down D with the D bass, down E minor with the E bass, down C with an A bass, down G with the E bass, down. And it's kind of a big D at the very end. But then if we tried that with our bass down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the next chord. We'd have E minor with low E bass, down, C on the up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, D on the up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, C on the up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, D on the up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, C on the up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, D on the up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, C on the up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, D on the up, and kind of you can just let that D kind of hang. And then from there we'd be going into our, our intro part again. So we'd back to the, to the E minor C progression at the very, very end. And there's kind of a cool hit at the very end on the very last one. You have kind of the down, down on the E minor and then the C on the up to kind of, on that very last time to kind of let it hang, kind of like what we just did with the chorus. So we tried that with our bass down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the next chord. We'd have E minor with low E bass, down C on the up, up, down E minor with low E bass, down C on the up, up, down E minor with low E bass, down C on the up. Now one other thing I would think about adding to the song too though is, is, is I, I really think a 16th note strum pattern kind, kind of works through this tune. And this may be a little bit challenging, but I think it can be really, really rewarding actually rhythmically. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns actually for this particular tune, what I think really works is kind of a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now we're kind of tapping, if you were tapping your foot to the beat, we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And with this down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, what you would do is kind of if you take the E minor and kind of do a down on one and an up on four of the sixteenth, that's what you're doing on the first beat. So you got one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four down, up, down. Could be doing an up on two and then a down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two and an up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Down it right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, 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 down, up. So all together, you got down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down,
think that strum pattern kind of applied to our intro, what you want to do is kind of take the E minor for the down, up, up of the pattern, and then hit the C for kind of your down, up, up, down. Of the so we have E minor with a down, up, up, C on the down. Could throw in your bass note on the first one for each chord, so you could take the E minor for the bass up, up, and then do a C with a bass up, up, down, up, down. So you try it that way. We'd have E minor with the B bass up, up, C on the A bass up, up, down, up, down. E minor with the B bass up, up, C on the A bass up, up, down, up, down. E minor with the B bass up, up, C on the A bass up, up, down, up, down. E minor with the B bass up, up, C on the A bass up, up, down, up, down. And then when we get to our chorus, actually, we could apply it that same way. So if we were going to try our chorus with our, our, our 16th pattern, we have E minor with the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down, G with the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down, E minor with the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down, G on the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down, G on the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down, G on the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down, G on the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down, G on the down, up, up, C on the down, up, up, down, up, down. And if we try that with our bass notes, we'd have E minor with low E bass, up, up, C with A bass, up, up, down, up, down, G with low E bass, up, up, D with D bass, up, up, down, up, down, G minor with low E bass, up, up, C with A bass, up, up, down, up, down, G with low E bass, up, up, D with D bass, up, up, down, up, down, G minor with low E bass, up, up, C with A bass, up, up, down, up, down, G with low E bass, up, up, D with D bass, up, up, down, up, down, G minor with low E bass, up, up, C with A bass, up, up, down, up, down, G with low E bass, up, up, D with D bass, up, up, down, up, down, up. Kind of experiment with that too, and then we try that through our bridge part. We can do that whole pattern actually on, on each chord. So we'd have C with a down, up, up, C, up, up, down, up, down, C, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, C, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down,